Welcome to Channel 217 News, where you get the best from your host, Atticus Finch and Marty Atkinson, the news. On today's docket, we have the inside scoop on the meatpacking industry with a surprise guest between two Larsons hosted by Jay Gatsby and much, much more. And now to Tom Buchanan with current events. That sounds great, Marty. Civilization's going to pieces. How so, Tom? Have you read The Rise of the Colored Empire by this man, Goddard? No, I blink up. Why, no, I haven't. Have you had this? I do not recall. Well, it's a fine book and everybody ought to read it. Can we get someone to clean that up? Up next, we have Jay Gatsby with Between Two Larsons. But first, Jurgis Rakis is here from Chicago. Jurgis, are you there? Yes. All right. What was it like working in the meatpacking industry? Um, the meatpacking industry was hard for me because uh, my family, we were running low on money and uh, we had just moved from our home country in Lithuania. Um, yes, and we moved to very poor tenements. Uh, they were not taken care of whatsoever and um, they were very run down. But um, the, the meatpacking industry was, uh, it, it, was, it, was, it was doable for sure. But um, it just it became such a drag, and it uh, it just got so difficult. And, and then I, I hurt myself. And after I hurt myself, um, I got fired because in the meatpacking industry at the time it was survival of the fittest. And once I lost my uh, my capabilities of doing my best, they didn't need me anymore. They had plenty of people lined up to work, and that was just horrible because after that I had no job. But then I went and worked at the fertilizer plant. And working at the fertilizer, I tipped the scales on the thermometer past 100. And then the fertilizer started getting into my pores and making me very sick. I'd have chronic headaches. And another weird thing that happens is I'd often have to use the bathroom without knowing in advance. And it, start, it became a problem because I'd be in the middle of work and then I'd be like, Oh no, I got to use the bathroom. And what was the hardest part about working in Packingtown, Yurgis? What was the hardest part about working in Packingtown? First of all, the hair that got into my mouth. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, the hardest part was for sure dealing with my family. Everyone was getting sick all of the time. I have to use bathroom. Thank you, Yurgis. Now, we'll be right back right after these messages. There's a very funny mark on this wall. Low down, near the mop board, a streak that runs round the room. It goes behind every piece of furniture, except the bed, a long, straight, even smooch, as if it had been rubbed over and over. I wonder how it was done, and who did it. Breaking news, Channel 217 has been struck by lightning and all future broadcasts will be held outside. Now here is exclusive footage of the lightning. Here is the man that saw it all. What was it like? It was the craziest thing ever. I was just outside and I heard like these loud sounds and so I got out my camcorder and I looked at the building and I like filmed it and then it went Bleh! And it was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life, man. How is this event going to affect your family and friends and community? Uh, I don't know, man. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. I mean, it's cool that I got it on film and like my friends didn't be like, dude, you got it on film. And I'm gonna be like, heck yeah, I did. And then my family thought I was gonna be a total loser. But look, I'm on TV, so what do you have to say about that now? So tell us, what did you see? Like, if I could describe it, I'd say it was like, the entire orb of satellite burst at once in front of my sight, you know? Like, BOOM! BOOM! Boom. Yeah. Thank you. Back to you. Oh, yeah. And welcome to another episode of Between Two Larsons. I'm your host, Jay Gatsby. As you can see, we are no longer in our studio due to uh, Mother Nature problems. Tonight on the show, we have quite a few many guests. Um, up first, we have Stanley from A Streetcar Named Desire. Stanley, would you come on stage, please? 
How you doing? I'm good. Nice to meet you, Stanley. Nice to meet Jay Gatsby. So tell me, Stanley, how are things around the house? Things around the house? They're good. They're good. I have a, I have a kid. Um, I still have Stella. Big surprise. You still beating Stella? Stella? Yeah, every day. Oh, that sounds healthy. So, anything else? Extracurricular activities? Oh, oh, I met up with an old friend at a bar. Nice. What have you guys been doing? Oh, we play poker. We, we chat. We talk about beating women. Mm-hmm. All healthy things. Yep. Anything else? Oh, yeah. I've recently gotten into playing some cricket. Cricket, eh? Now that's an old sport. So, who are you playing cricket with? Tom Buchanan. Is there a problem? What? Tom Buchanan. Do you know the fella? No. Yeah. Uh... Why would you say that? What is... Um, yeah, so... Sorry about that. Me and Tom don't have the best history together. I, I can tell. So, um, how are things with Stella? How's she been? Where's she been at lately? Stella's good. Stella's the same. Yep. Oh, um, alright. So, we just heard got news that Stella left the studio about half an hour ago. Stella left? she's not coming back. She's not here? Yes. STELLA! STELLA! We'll be right back after this. STELLA! No. Oh. STELLA! What is this contraption? Is it hey, does anybody know in my next appointment? Is What's your name? Doing? Is your name Jay Gatsby? Yeah. Hello, I know the guy in Edgar Allan Poe. Okay. Um, you can't do that from now on. Okay. You see that? That lens? Do, do we not have anybody supervising this? Okay, all right. Nice to meet you. I'm, uh, I'm Jay Gatsby. All right, we are back after our quick, short little break, if you might call it. Um, so tell me, Edgar, how's life been? Oh, it's fine. It's, it's the same as it's always been. I just, I sit at home and I write stories, very scary stories about very scary things. Okay. Okay, well, we were gonna get to that. Um, I was gonna ask you some other questions. Okay, then ask away. You know, before you showed up, my mood, it was up to here. There's something about you. Now I'm down to here. Went from a solid 10 to at least a 6. A 6? Is that what you describe your looks as, dude? Okay, um, so, yeah, who approved this guy on the show? I'm sorry, sir. You alright? Yeah. Is your fault? Yeah, somebody fired this Are you kid. going to ask about my books or not? Okay, how are your they're, books? They're very, they're, the integrity is, it's so prosperous. It's a meh, it's magnificent. It's depressing, but it hooks a reader instantly. <sighs> Falling houses, usher. It's magnificent. You must read my new book. What's your new book? It's called Darkness. It's very great. It only took about five years to make. Oh, yes. It's very, no, it's very good. So tell us, Edgar, give us a brief description about your new book. Darkness. 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 And guess what? Darkness. Yes. Anything yes. else? Any yes. Yes. There's a lot more. Any. Any. It's so magnificent. So what I'm getting so far is darkness. Oh, exactly. don't forget depression and scary. The next book that you read of mine will make you face me off like a. What's that? Like that? something that smears off, you know. I must write about it. I have great ideas. I must be gone. We're not done with the interview. Can somebody get this clown back? Yeah, get back on the stage. Sir. Hey, Sir. you. Get, 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 get on the stage. Do not touch me. Get on the stage. Get on the stage. Welcome back to Between Two Larsons. I'm your host, Jay Gatsby. I am still here with Edgar Allan Poe. So tell me, Edgar, are you okay after your, your meltdown just now? Oh, well, my meltdown, was it as bad as your meltdown when, uh, when our friend um, uh, Stanley mentioned uh, was it, uh, Tom Buchanan? Yeah, how did you react to that, huh? You're gonna go there too? Why does everybody do this? What's your problem? Get off my stage! He's not the boss.
boss of me, I can touch this if I want to. What did I tell you? Get out of here! Come on, security, can we get this guy out? No. Alright, now as we wait for our next guest, Jurgis, to come on to the show, we're gonna head over to Atticus Finch with some news on how our friend Stanley is doing. Once again, more breaking news. I'm here with Stanley as he's going through another breakdown. Looks like we're getting some law enforcement here on the scene soon. We are 